What's up, y'all? Let's armor down with some mindfulness training today. So I got my armor down smart cushion. It's pretty sweet. It's American made. All right. So today the lesson um, centers around why mindfulness training is different for warriors than civilians. So this is this is practice training. So we're gonna. I'm going to teach this lesson through the practice. All right. So first thing is to begin the practice is to tame the mind, right? That's coming into present tense awareness through your senses. So you can listen to the sound of this fucking loud ass dump truck as a way to tame your mind. So I'm going to show you this dump truck and hear the way it screeks and scratches and urch and lurches and fucking gutty right so you can use that sound because it's happening right now and you're experiencing it right now with your sense of sound to come into presence oh there's helicopter so in a sense all these layers of sound are to my benefit it's not a distraction it's to my advantage to have these layers to come into presence I felt I felt this downrange in terms of intensity it's the same reason why I like driving through traffic there's just I experience a calmness when there's lots and lots and lots of layers. Anyway, use that to bring your mind into presence. Then you go through the body. So you go through the body starting at your ground. Now, my ground, hear that, hear that thing? Hear that big, big ass sound? All right, my ground includes a smart cushion and then my feet, everything that's touching the ground. That's, that's ground. So I got ground on my cushion. I got ground at the outside edges of my feet, uh, parts of my heel, that's ground. Then the second place is pelvis. So you want to think about the mobility of your pelvis and is your pelvis in the position that you like it to be in. Then core. So core takes place as like a, a circle all the way around the space between your torso and your pelvis. But you have to think three dimensionally. You can't just think front, back, sides. Think three dimensionally, that's core then heart space. Just go ahead and move your shoulder blades. Just move them. Shoulder blades. Just move them. Once you've moved your shoulder blades, let them relax and let your collarbones chill out right here. You you can think I always have to let go of my jaw. Relax that motherfucker. Then center of the head. So you want to think of the intersection between this point and this point. This point and this point. That's center of the head. You can think of that as the top of your spine. And then from there, you, you finish the introduction, the, the path in, with a full breath. Hear that dump truck? The experience for me is one of moving my kind of experience of the world around me, moving that from thought, like thinking, to feeling it, interacting with it, engaging with my alignment, engaging with my environment, listening. And so it just creates a break in my mind from the experience of idea and thinking and words and analysis and into just right now and right now as you can see my present environment includes nastiness big old big mother big pokey doof, 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 noises but also includes peacefulness So now into the lesson. Why training for a warrior is a little bit different than training for a civilian. Training for a civilian often interacts with, participates with what can and hopefully should be the civilian environment. One of smooth interaction, calm, quiet. You don't want to live in a war zone. <laughs> the goal isn't to get tough enough to live in the war zone. If you're in a 
a sustainable society, you're dealing with more calm, more light than shadow on average. That's debatable, but my point is, ideally in your life at home, away from a warrior type environment, there's more softness and calm. And so the study of that softness and calm is very much a central part of mindfulness practice in the United States as it currently stands, and especially what's being offered on YouTube. So what Armor Down does is attempt to articulate mindfulness, the same mindfulness that civilians study, but from the perspective of that shadow over there as well. So the shadow gets greater attention when you study Armor Down. The shadow is, is central to the study of mindfulness because um, as warriors we've either been into or were trained to go into or just had to survive through uh, environments that uh, are really, really, really shadowy. And everybody's got their own story. It's, it's your experience with the shadow and what you had to do about it and in it and afterwards and all that other kind of shit that makes it your experience. And, and so when you study with Armor Down, the goal is to look at the shadow in a more kind of inclusive kind of way. And so here's an example of what I mean in, through the experience. So let's go into practice mode real quick. So we're gonna drop into the body. I'm gonna show you how to go armor down real quick. So the first thing is now, see if you can notice a small sound or, or see if you can notice something little, subtle. Notice how, maybe not in your environment, but my environment, everything just got quiet. That big ass dump truck's gone. <laughs> There's a soft breeze. You can kind of see the way everything's got a little subtle movement. I don't have to speak very loud. My effort, my energy to participate in this environment has diminished. Experience is softer. So now to kind of see or experience a feeling of kind of the lighter side of the human experience, I'm going to take you through this exercise. So I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing right now. Warmth of my face, the, the sun, the, the directness of the sun, I'm looking, I'm feeling that, I'm hearing, hearing the bird to my right. I'm also aware of the airplane above me. Go to my ground, everything touching something. A little shift. I actually move a lot throughout any sit I do. Pelvis, where do I want it? Maybe I'm studying something, I'm shifting left and right. Core, I always release my core, lift my heart, drop my chin, shoulder blades, throat, top of the head, breathing. All right, now, if you want to join me in the practice, go ahead and take as full an inhale as you can. Now, hold at the top. Hold at the top for long as you can to feel a sense of pressure. Feel a sense of pressure. And then once you felt that pressure build, exhale slowly and try to feel the release. <sighs> right? That release of the effort, that softness, that subtlety. <sighs> it's a lovely feeling. It's a pleasant feeling. Now the other side of the equation, the other side of the equation is an uncomfortable feeling, a being with an uncomfortable feeling. Studying that, participating in that, seeing that non-judgmentally. So the way you could experience that if you wanted to train with me is take that breath again. Exhale easy. 
Now set an intention to really fill up your body with air. Get through the mouth. Now this time, blow all your air out. Keep blowing it out. Make sure there's nothing left. Hold at the bottom. No more breathing. Notice the pressure, the change. The sense of the kind of like, whoa, the body is going. What are you doing? Why aren't you breathing in? And the pressure builds. For me, it starts to build here. It's like this. Then I go. Come way off of it. And then ride that down. The first time I ever went into that edge, um, the that's about as shadowy an edge as I can make in just this breathing exercise. Is where you dump all your all your breath and hold without breath. So you're just holding on whatever reserve your body had at that moment, and so you're at the absolute edge of your body's need for oxygen. And so holding that edge in the beginning was kind of terrifying. I was like. Whoa, there's just this uh, sense holding that edge and it was uh, only after practicing it in a sustainable way that I was able to learn how to participate with that edge and so in participating with that edge I've gotten better at being with and interacting with my shadow edges you know the edges of me that um, include more shadow from my military training and the and the like so this is the this is the difference this is what sets armor down training apart from other training is our regular emphasis or exploration of these shadow experiences and the use of the body and the use of a seated practice or the use of a movement based practice or a mysterious practice um, how to include those two experiences in such a way that they work they fit and so if you start training with armor down that's what you'll that's what you'll get more of that you can't really get in other places so uh see you for training next time